Well, it was better than last week, I think. Uh, Wolves t were coming out 2-1 winners over Villarreal, who, let's remember, although they're an extra week away from the start of their season, they finished fifth in La Liga last year. So there's only really the top teams in Spain who are better than them. And you could tell that, particularly in the first half, I thought they were a really good challenge for Wolves. Uh, at the end of their pre-season. There are a few things to be a little bit concerned about in the first half, but there is a lot to be positive about from the second half. I thought Wolves played very, very well. Well, in little spells throughout the game, but in particular in the second half. So the team that started the game today was pretty much, I imagine, the, the team that will start against Everton, bar any big signings like Vida or Smalling that have been rumoured over the last couple of days. One change that I would make from next week is I would bring in Ryan Bennett for Roman Sace at the right side of that back three. I don't think Sace and Cody together work well enough. There was a lot of mistakes in that first half which led to Villarreal's goal. Uh, a little dink over Patricio having made the same mistake a couple of minutes before passing the ball out a little bit lax, sadaisical and Neves as well giving the ball away at one point. Uh, in the first half, though, to led to led to a chance. In the second half, when Bennett came on, he was a lot faster to the, to the ball. Now, this could be because Sace has just come back from uh, international duty, having had an extended break after the World Cup. He could be a little bit tired and whatever, and he's coming into a new position as well. So there's all of that to take into consideration as well. But personally, I don't see Sace and Cody working together because of the two of them lacking that little bit of extra burst of pace. But as I said, Ryan Bennett came on the second half and, and negated any sort of problems that came down that side. In terms of going forward in the first half, I thought Johnny played a little bit better today. He showed a bit of a few more bursts of pace. Still not keen on him being on the left hand side, being predominantly right footed. Uh, although I can see that improving as the season goes on. Doherty as well. I tipped him yesterday in a little piece that we did uh, as, as Talking Wolves for the Wolves fancast, predicting who's going to be the most improved player next season. And I said Doherty, and I, I know that he improved a lot last season, but I was, I'm anticipating him to get more goals and more assists and bomb forward a little bit more. And there was a few occasions today where he just didn't do that. He had the opportunity to get in and get past the fullback from the Villarreal, but just didn't do it. And I'm really, really desperate to see him doing that. And Johnny does it a little bit. He links up quite well with uh, the winger that's on there. Doherty just wasn't quite doing the same. A big talking point from the first half was Neves missing his penalty again. I'm not sure whether or not he's going to be the regular penalty taker now as the season comes along. We saw he miss one last season at Sheffield United. He did score one against Ajax in pre-season. It's something that happens you know, regularly in football. Some of the best players in the world miss penalties all the time. He did the hard part. He sent the keeper the wrong way and then just put it wide to the post. Maybe that's a bit of a concern going forward as to who would be the penalty taker usually, but we've seen Cavaliero, Costa, Bonatini all take penalties really, really well. That's not a major concern. Neves looked imperious uh, as he did for most of last season. He worked better with Moutinho today than he did against uh, Derby last week. For Moutinho uh, was more involved today than he was against Derby as well. Played for it a bit longer as well, about 70 minutes or so, which is really good to see. And you could see the world-class quality and the experience that he's got over players like Neves and, and Morgan Gibbs-White, who replaced him later in the game as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that partnership works in midfield as well. What impressed me most, and particularly the, well, throughout the game, Diogo Jota, I thought, looks amazing he looks better than he did last season which is you know difficult to think he was one of the top players in the championship last year and he's improved on that he looks strong in possession he doesn't get knocked off the ball very easily and he was making chances and making things happen and putting dangerous balls into the box Costa as well on the opposite side looking really strong really positive linking it well at times with Doherty as I mentioned I'd like to see that further up the field and more in a more advanced position. Uh, Raul Jimenez played again for another 60-70 minutes, took his goal really well at the back post, nearly scored an absolutely amazing, I say nearly, he had an overhead kick which would have been one of the best goals Molly has ever seen. And the other main talking point from today's game was that Rui Patricio was wearing the number 11 shirt, which we've never seen a goalkeeper wearing a number 11 shirt. And it provided quite a lot of talk on social media before the game. It seems to me that the Wolves have retired the number one shirt for Carla Kimi and 
the next best thing for Patricio is to wear two number ones. <laughs> I've got no problems about it at all. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Patricio made one or two decent saves as well today, but didn't have a lot to do in the second half. Villarreal, as the game, as the second half wore on, was making, were making so many changes, the game became quite disjointed. But I'm quite happy with the intensity that Wolves showed throughout the whole second half. We didn't make too many changes. There were quite a few players who played the whole 90 minutes. And I don't want to get carried away because there was a lot that needs improving from that first half defensively as well, particularly having been so good defensively all of last season and then for a lot of pre-season as well. So just a few lapses in concentration, a few mistakes that need to be improved on by next week. But I do expect there to be at least one defensive signing that comes in and strengthens that back three. Let me know your thoughts from today's game. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's see if we can get to 3,000 subscribers by the beginning of the season on Saturday. And don't forget the Albion lost. <laughs>